And so we've got this whole trade diversification agenda. We've got the global export, and this is real data. This isn't projections, right? I'm looking at real data about you know these, these commodities that you can track through trade. This stuff's taking off at multiples of the rest of the, the commodities and the stuff you know globally traded. So clean energy is taking off globally. Canada has a big share of that and growing. Awesome. And what are we talking about? Pipelines. <laughs> yes. Drives that, me nuts. That, that's exactly the point we make over and over and over again is that the, the national conversation is, has been hijacked by the hydrocarbons industry and the federal government has gone along with it and yeah. it's just turned everything on on its head now dave uh let's get back to large scale uh, ccs because okay. i want to ask can it be done even if with the investment tax credits where the the government is stepping up and i want to make a point here two years ago i interviewed a uh, company that designed ccs for the oil sands and i asked the question what uh carbon price do you need to make it economic and they, I was told $200 a ton. Yeah. So that's what the consultants and, and engineers and designers think is yeah. required to make this work.